Hi, I'm Magician Paul Weatherby, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about learning sleight of hand. Sleight of hand, well, learning sleight of hand takes sometimes years and years of practice. But the most basic of all sleight of hand moves is what those in the business call the old put and take. That's right, the old put and take, where you act like you put something in one hand, but you actually take it away. Let me show you what it looks like. Take a coin, put it in the left hand, and it vanishes. Let me show you that one more time. Take a coin, put it in your hand, it vanishes. This is how you do it. Pinch a coin between your thumb and first finger. Spread your fingers out and you can display it. And when, you put the, act, when you're acting like you're putting the coin in your left hand, you don't leave go of the coin. You let your fingers fall over it and take the coin away. Once more, let your fingers fall over the coin, wrap your other fingers around it and take it away. Practice this in front of a mirror so you, that you get the natural actions of what it would look like if you really put the coin in your hand and then do it with the put and take. Put it, take it away. I'm also going to show you how to do this with a sponge ball. You can buy these sponge balls at a magic shop. In fact, a magic shop is probably the only place where you can say sponge ball and they won't think you're talking about a venereal disease. Clip it between your thumb and finger and just like you do with the coin, cover it with your fingers and take it away. That's the put and take, the most basic of all sleight of hand moves. Practice it, have fun with it. I'm Paul Weatherby. Rock on and keep your magic strong.